we have seen various types of graphical representations that can be used for representing different parameters of data. We humans can understand it. But what about machines? Machines can understand only zeros and ones. So let us do an activity to understand how images are classified in a way machines read. The name of the activity that we are going to do is Pixelit. Pixelit is an activity which is based on machine learning approach. It is an example of how computers see images, process them and classify them. This is based on the domain computer vision. Now let us start the activity. To do this, we need scissors, glue and sketch pens. First, let us cut out the matrix of 6 by 6 square blocks. Now, as you see, you will have to number it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on the left side and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 on the right side. Now, let us write an uppercase alphabet. We have to write this in such a way that the height of the alphabet should be equal to the height of the matrix. In other words, it should start from the bottom line of the matrix till the top line. We can write any capital alphabet in any handwriting or font. Once we do this, we can start coloring the boxes on which the alphabet lines have fallen like this. After this is done, we can cut out horizontal stripes of the matrix. Like this. 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6 and 6 to 7. Now let us paste all these stripes together to make one single paper string. So I am pasting here 1 to 2 with 2 to 3. So apply glue on the number 2 in the first strip and attach the next one in this so that we get a horizontal string. So this way we can repeat it for the remaining numbers and get a strip which is like this. Now let us write 1 for colored boxes and 0 for the ones without the color. So the representation for my alphabet goes this way. 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. 0, 0, 0, 0 and 1. So, the computer can now understand this form, which is the binary form. We use only two numbers in binary form, which is 0 and 1. This way, the alphabet which is written is converted into pixels, which is colored boxes. And then, we are converting it into a binary form. I have done this for the same alphabet with a different font style, like this. So, the second step is to color the boxes on which the lines have fallen, like this. And once this is done, I have cut out horizontal stripes of the matrix, like this. And then, I have pasted all the stripes together to make one single paper string and then decoded it or converted it into a binary digit of 36 digits. We can do this in groups. Like how I had taken two different data sets, we can collect it from different students who have done it for the same alphabet and put it together. So the strips can be kept one below the other or we can take the binary digits corresponding for the pattern or corresponding to the pattern 
which we had written. So for the first pattern, this was the binary code. And for the second pattern, this was the binary code. We can add these two and get the final pattern. Let us check what happens if we try to decode the final pattern which was based on two different styles of the alphabet. This was the pattern that we got. If I split this into 6 by 6 matrix, I am going to take it like this. The first 6 digits on the first line, next 6 digits on the next line, the next 6 digits on the third line, the fourth set of 6 digits on the next line, the fifth set of 6 digits on the fifth line, and the sixth set of 6 digits on the last line. Now I am going to take a similar 6 by 6 matrix and try to do a color coding to see what happens. We get a pattern like this. Pixelit activity is an example which was based on computer vision. The computer analyzes each pixel and if it has to compare two pictures, it checks or it compares pixel wise and takes a decision whether the images are seen or not. So in this activity, we created our own model which can identify if an alphabet is similar to the data train or not. Here, we can divide the alphabet into 36 blocks and then process it. We can also train the model based on different data sets of the same alphabet but different handwritings. Now, when we go for testing this, the model would see if the colored boxes are aligned or not. If majority of the boxes are aligned together, there exists a maximum probability that the alphabet is same. Otherwise, the alphabets are different. With this, we come to the end of this session. Please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.